Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to go over the Amazon Music mobile app where you can discover music, play various music stations, subscribe to podcasts. I'll even show you how to access your purchased music and download those files to your mobile device so that you can play them even when you don't have an internet connection. Let's check it out. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is go to the Play Store or App Store, depending on your phone, and we're gonna search for Amazon Music. All right, and this is the app right here that you'll want to download. Notice I already have it installed, so I'll go ahead and open. Okay, so here we are in the app. When you land here, you're gonna land on the home screen. And what you'll see on the home screen is basically suggested artists and stations and playlists and podcasts based on your search history and any music that you've liked or downloaded, you will see that on this home page. You'll notice here, I listen to Fleetwood Mac a lot, so I'm being suggested some Fleetwood Mac stations. All right, at the very top, you'll notice that you can filter by music or podcasts simply by tapping those at the top. And again, you're looking at suggested music here. I'll go back by tapping this carrot at the top left. And we can also filter by podcasts if I tap podcasts up here at the top. And now we are browsing podcasts. You'll see here these are podcasts that I follow and I can jump right into those and start listening to any of the recent episodes. Let's go ahead and play this one. All right, and you can see here that you can skip the podcast forward 30 seconds or skip backward 15 seconds as you are listening. Okay, I'm going to click the carrot at the top left to go back. And just to show you, I'll go back again here to the main Explore Podcasts screen. So if you are searching, browsing the podcasts here, you can go ahead and tap on a podcast and you can tap follow if you like this content. That way you will have it on your main screen and you'll be able to listen to the latest episodes quickly and easily. All right, going back, we're gonna tap the carrot again at the top left. Okay, now we're gonna look at the main navigation across the bottom of the app. You can see we're on home, but I can now go here to find, and this will allow me to search for specific content or I can browse by genre. So for example, if I was interested in alternative music, I can tap there. Here I can explore featured playlists, featured stations, and you can play these by tapping on them. And you can go ahead and hit shuffle here or start playing a specific song down below. Let's go ahead and hit shuffle. Go ahead and hit stop there. You notice at the bottom there is, in the middle, we have an option to connect this to a nearby device. So for example, if you wanna connect this to a Fire Stick or a Chromecast device that's connected to your TV, you could do that as well. All right, going back here, I wanna call out that you can also type in the search field or you can tap on the Alexa icon and talk to your phone. 70s rock music. The station, 70s rock, on Amazon Music. All right, now you can also tell Alexa to play music or playlists under your account. Alexa, play my classic rock playlist. Shuffling the playlist classic rock and similar tracks on Amazon Music. All right.
my 80s jams. Okay, so the other thing you can do here is we'll back up and we're gonna now go to my library at the bottom. So this is gonna show me any music that I purchased or that I liked. And you can see at the top, we can filter this by playlists. So here are my playlists. We can also go into individual songs. And within here, we can filter this list and sort it. So if I untap purchased, I'm now going to be looking at all songs, whether I purchased them or liked them. So it's nice to be able to tap on purchased and just look at the music that you purchased. Now, next to that, we have downloaded. So this is where you can filter the list to only play back songs that you've downloaded to this device. And this is nice because you'll be able to play these songs whether you're connected to the internet or not. You'll notice here I have not downloaded any songs yet to this device. So I'm going to go ahead and untap downloaded and I'll filter this to purchased only. And this will show me songs that I can now download to my device because I have purchased them. So to download it, I'm going to tap on the three dots to the right of a song and tap on download. And I can go through the list and be selective about which songs I decide to download to this device. So I'll get a couple of a few songs in here. All right. So now when I go to filter this list by downloaded, I'm going to see those songs that I just downloaded to the device. And to play these back, I'm simply going to tap on any of the songs. And if I tap on the more menu at the bottom right, I can go ahead and set these songs to shuffle, which I do often. You also have the option to add this specific song to a playlist. All right, going back. So those are your individual songs. Let's go back. And now next to songs, we have artists. So you can browse your songs by artist here and play them back by artist. Next to artists, you have albums if you want to browse by albums. And then you also have your purchased option here to just show songs that you have purchased. And here we can go ahead and tap shuffle to shuffle this entire list. All right, going back next to library at the bottom of the app, you're going to see you can tap here if you want to start interacting with Amazon Music through voice. Please play my downloaded songs. Shuffling your music on Amazon Music. All right, that is so cool. And the final thing I want to call out is within your account. So at the top right, you're going to see your account icon. You can tap there. Here you can manage your profile. You can run this in car mode if you're driving in the car, listening to this as you drive. It's a much more simplified interface. Let's take a look at that. So you can see here, it's a much more simplified interface of Amazon Music. To exit car mode, you can tap on the top left. All right, below that we have connect to a device. So again, if you wanna connect it to a Fire Stick or a Chromecast, you got your profile and then we have settings. Let's go into settings and I wanna call out, there's all kinds of settings in here that you can take a look at. Things like start in car mode automatically, blocking explicit music, but I wanted to show this download settings. Pick the download quality for offline playback and choose download over Wi-Fi or mobile data. So I'm gonna tap here and depending on the storage in your mobile phone, you can adjust these settings. The standard size of the file is gonna be larger, but you can adjust that if you 
don't have a lot of storage space on your mobile device, you can switch that to Space Saver. Notice here you can also opt to download songs only when you're on Wi-Fi. All right, and that is how you use the Amazon Music mobile app. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.